A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, if you can stand the heat and want more of what our favorite chefs have to offer, then make sure you get down to the Good Food and Wine Show in Johannesburg this weekend. This is where you could meet and maybe even cook along with some of the chefs like George Kalumbaris. He's going to be there. Jay Something, our favorite chef, and Muso is going to be there too. Sibam Tongana is also an incredible chef, will be there. And our very own Clem Pedro is going to be there. Today, we're giving away tickets to some lucky viewers, but please note that you have to be in the Johannesburg area this weekend to attend the show, or you'll have to watch via some kind of streaming. I'm kidding. Please make sure you're in the Joburg area to enter. SMS the keyword GFWS, I'm lying to you. SMS the keyword EXPRESS and your name to 33728. EXPRESS and your name to 33728, and you could be the winner. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, T's and C's apply, and can be found on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. Now let's taco about it because are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. So let's start off with our slaw, right? So we're making a fish taco now. I don't know if you've ever made fish tacos, right? They can be complicated. Never. No, I've never actually made. I've made a wrap and that's about it. There we go. Student, Student oh, lifestyle. You're amazing at wrapping. I saw that video a while back. Oh, oh. my goodness, Dan. <laughs> that's a different kind of wrap, Clem. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, so we're doing fish tacos. So normally yes. you have to fry the fish up. Mm. And you know, sometimes fish can be a bit tricky cooking, right? I've taken the easiest way to get the fish done, and I'm using the Sea Harvest Crisp and Chunky Tempura Battered Hick. Oh, which is so cool, because it keeps it together. It is, absolutely. A perfect parcel for one taco, yeah. right? If you're struggling to keep it together in the kitchen, trust this, because it'll keep itself together. <laughs> okay, so I'm using te the tempura version today. Kind of mm -hmm. weird, because it's Mexican, but we yes, use tempura, yeah. it's a bit Asian. But you know what? The flavors go so well with it. Amazing. And I recommend you try that, right? So I'm going to put this aside over here so long, and then I'm going to be doing some coleslaw. I've well, got some carrots there for you in your bowl. Okay, yeah, no, cool. I just wanted to say that also because that, that fish is so amazing, not only have they got really great ingredients and it keeps itself together, but we've also got a whole bunch of prizes to give away uh, of that. So see, obviously, giving those away. Mm -hmm. So if you want to kind of win yourself a few goodies, you can go onto our Facebook page, Afternoon Express, it's on Facebook. There's a link there to how you can win yourself a whole bunch of goodies. Uh, so go and visit our Facebook page right now, and all the details are there on how you can win some cool things to cook with in the kitchen. Absolutely. You cool. So you so said well. my slaw is in here, you cool. said. Yes. So another great thing about sea harvest fish is the fact that the fish is frozen actually when it's caught, right? So it's frozen on the yes. ship, which is amazing. That Keeps way. freshness. And also quality. Because, mm. I mean, a lot of times people think the frozen fish is not as high quality as fresh. T definitely go out there, get the good quality stuff, see harvest, get their fish, and I mean, it makes a, a easy midweek meal. Yeah, true. Always. I, I, and also, one thing that I learned recently from this sort of dietitian was that you have to try and vary your proteins. Everyone's kind of going to go chicken, 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 but the sea harvest fish is, uh, fish is so available, it's easy to use, and it's there, and it is very, very fresh, and it you is. need that kind of protein in your diet. So, if you're not a, maybe a fishy person, you need to start seriously thinking about it. Because, I mean, that's where we get our omegas from, right? Exactly. Cool. Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm obsessed with the cabbage. I need to stop doing that right now. Yeah. So in there I've got some... Carota. Carrots at the bottom. Ooh. And so I'm going to add some more carrot. Why not? Cool. And then I'm going to add some sultanas. Oh, yeah. A little different, I right? I didn't think about that before. Because, yes. I mean, they add that nice sweetness to the yes. slaw that's really, really amazing. Because slaw can be quite bitter, especially if you've got something like a, a red cabbage in there. A lot that of raw ingredients. Yeah. Make it nice. But cool. now I'm also going to add some smoked paprika. We spoke Ooh. about like smoked ingredients and sweet yes. things. It goes really well. Some smoked paprika goes in there. Okay, Yummy. There we go. I'm going to pass this to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start chopping again. Cool. cool. So I'm just going to hold the bowl. I'm the bowl guy. You're the bowl guy. Okay. <laughs> Some You're the bald guy. I'm the bowl guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? No, that's not. That's I, not. I, I'm bald by choice. All <laughs> right. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk in yeah. 15 years. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It looks like you, you're doing. Really I'm starting to bald as I've got a widow's peak, and I've already <laughs> said that I'm going to go bald at some stage, but not yet. We're going to hide that away. Let's All not right. think about it. Cool. So Dan, I'm going to ask you to add the mayonnaise to the cool. slaw, and you can start mixing. Cool. And then what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to actually kick off with our. Oh, Fish! Cool. cool. Can you pass me the tray? I can indeed. That's yours. Cool. So simply just pop it out of the tray. What mm -hmm. I like about this is you can cook it from frozen. Ah. Ah. Uh, you see? Which all other things always ask you, please thaw your dish before you get it into the oven. This one With, you can cook from just frozen. Just like that. They actually mm -hmm. do ask you just like that. So yeah, they actually have a little voice that when you click. Have you ever tried to click the box and it says, please thaw your fish before cooking through? This one doesn't have that. No, it doesn't have that at all. Okay, you don't cool. Need to. <laughs> so the fish is gonna go to the oven and that's literally gonna take 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. And it's gonna be done. So you need to keep on working on that slaw, right? So yeah, I'm basically done here, I think. Just yes, mixing it up. What I wanna do is also we'll talk about balancing our flavors, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add some Zestiness. lemon. Yeah, because this mayonnaise has also got quite a quite a rich taste that you want to break it with something something slightly zesty. And you want to cut through that richness, and that's yeah. the lemon. 
Cool. And then you know what? I'm, I'm feeling adventurous. Are you going on any dates tonight? Oh, uh, well, should I not keep that a secret, Clem? No, I'm just saying because I'm about to hit it with some fresh garlic. <laughs> oh, no, then go for it. Okay, cool. Garlic is, if you don't like garlic, you can't be with me, girl. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So some fresh garlic's gonna go in there. What I like about this law is we've kept everything really chunky mm -hmm. instead of really fine. So it's actually gonna sit and not lose texture, which ah. tends to happen with yes. um, normal coleslaws. You can do it like that. Bang it in. So cool. you just mix it through. What I like thing is we've used mayonnaise and we used paprika, right? Yes. What's going to happen is the paprika flavor marries into the slaw mm -hmm. and it actually intensifies in flavors. It kind of mellows out all the other ingredients. Very nice. Very, very nice yeah. ideas that you're throwing into this thing. And I've really had fish tacos before. It is quite adventurous, but I tell you the flavors are amazing. It's something brand new for your palate. It's maybe something you've never had before. So make sure that you guys do try something new. Explore. This is the point of us making these delicious dishes on Afternoon Express. Hopefully to give you a chance to try something brand new. And if you're feeling adventurous and want to get the recipe for this dish that we're making on the show today, go to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. It's also got a shopping list available for you, so you just print that out, take it with you to the shops, and you can buy all the ingredients to prepare this amazing dish with us on Afternoon Express. Genie's on standby. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. On the show today, Clem and myself are helping you prepare dinner. And today we're making a really delicious crispy uh, hake taco on the show, yeah. which is something that not a lot of people have learned to do in their lifetime. I've had the huge privilege of tasting one of them before, and it is so amazing. So That's true. I must ask you, what exactly is a taco? So the taco, in a sense, is kind of that wrap that, that encases all the yummy goodness. Okay. Right? So that's what it is. And whatever you feel, like you can put like anything. I suppose you can even have a peanut butter like a jam taco. As long as it's in that taco, okay. unleavened flatbread. I see, so it's a flatbread. So what yeah. are those hard, crunchy things? That's a taco shell. It's a taco shell, different yeah. thing. Okay, yeah, cool. absolutely. I just want to make sure, because every time I go to the shops, I see wraps and I see tacos and I see this and a tortilla and tortilla and this thing and that thing. So I'm glad <laughs> I now know the difference. All right, let's 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 finish this off. Okay, cool. So I've toasted my tortillas over there. You can actually hold one up. Cool. I've toasted it in a dry pan, but my favorite way to toast them is directly over a hot flame. Cool. So do it so well. Over a hot flame, just like that. Just like this. And if you buy this one, wait, you'll get more. You'll get this one too. <laughs> we should actually start all infomercials. Okay. Cool. So that's toasting up beautifully over a hot flame. Okay. Otherwise, dry pans perfectly. Amazing. There we go. You can cool, pop cool. it over there, nice and hot. And if you don't have a hot flame like that, you can just put it on a flat pan, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was I was <laughs> up doing my infomercial. Okay, cool. So um, some coriander is going to my little chopper with some, mm. not, like more garlic, right? Yes. We say we're not going anywhere. Yeah. Some lemon. Some maple syrup. When last did we use maple syrup? In a while. It's been so a while. It adds that sweetness, which you've got that sort of uh, the zestiness of the lemon, and you've got that really freshness of the coriander. So a little bit of sweetness will, will do us well. What is that? That's some brown vinegar. Ooh. Again, some acidity with our lemon. Okay. And then some olive oil goes in. And we're gonna just blitz this all up. While I'm doing that, can I ask you to start topping our tacos with some coleslaw? Sure, I can. So how do you do that? Just put it on and then oil in your hand or? You just pop it, you can use your hands. I mean, it's street food. It's, it's all about using your hands, right? Well, as long as the hands are clean, which mine are, so that's good news. And you washed your hands, I saw I you. I did, indeed. Cool, so just like this and like that. Oh, yum. Cool, oh. that's enough. And you can keep on going through the rest. Cool. And we got our amazing um, fillets out of the oven. So they've been cooking in the oven for a while. It doesn't take too long because you nope. can cook them from frozen, which is awesome. And that was just 25 minutes. Done. Lekker. One cool. of those ones you can put in and ignore, which is awesome. So let me just slide this tray over here. It's a little hot, but you know what? Chef fingers, chef fingers. I'm a good sous chef. I'll we'll just move out of your way. No, cool. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I'm just going to cut them through the center. And then... Just keep them nice and thin. Yeah. Cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. And There's put so that well. one in there, there we like go. That. Look at that. Close that up. And there you so have I'm one. going to serve the, the coriander sauce on the what? side. We can just help ourselves over there on the table. Sure. Cool. Cool. Fantastic. And one more we'll do over here. I don't have time to do the last one, I don't think. So I'm just Someone's not it. eating. It's okay. <laughs> it's you and I. <laughs> That's the deal. I right. can do one more very, very quickly if we can. If you guys want to get the recipe, it's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. All the shopping lists and recipes for everything we make on the show is available for you over there. All the T's and C's for our competitions available for mm -hmm. you over there. Basically, it's the place you want to go to every single day to get inspiration for food and life in general. Catch up on all the recaps, etc. So our tacos are basically done. I'm gonna yeah. take these over to the table. Wanna come along? Yeah, t I'll follow you. You go so long. I'm gonna get bring our sauce with. Bring our coriander. It's looking so so amazing. It's one of these street food things. So I hope you guys do not mind using your fingers for these. 
I'm so excited for these fish tacos. When I got here today, I said to Clem, I'm having a dinner party tomorrow night. What am I making? And that's exactly what I'm going to say. Yeah. There you Great go. Idea. Thank you. Now, we're that currently like running a very exciting competition on Facebook where you can win tickets to Felicia Bortolesi's 2017 I Do Awards in Johannesburg. So that's next year's awards, and it's including flights and accommodation. Simply go to our Facebook post and let us uh, and tell us what your secret to a happy relationship in the comments section is and uh, you could be the winner. So tell us, yeah, go visit our Facebook page. <laughs> Thank you, you. don't mind your hands. Sorry. This okay. looks amazing. amazing. Thank you so much guys Thank for coming you. through. And I really, I'm sure that you've helped so many other people understand better relationships and having a happy, happy marriage and lots of love. <laughs> I definitely want to get married now. Yeah. Maybe it's time for I've us. I've got a lot to learn from that conversation. I feel so incompetent. Good night, South Africa. Happy eating and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to take Let's a massive bite.